Hello everybody! Mr. Fun coming from his kitchen once again to answer all of your fantastic questions. Happy Wednesday, people! Man, Violet is a motor mouth right now. Oh, there she is. Hi, Violet. Gonna say hi to the people? Hi. Say hi, people. Hi, people. Hi, people. Anyway, I was asked a while back, why do I do the whole hello, everybody thing? And it is because it is my small way to give honor, to give tribute to a person who I used to work with back in my time at Fox Sports Net back in LA. His name was Van Earl Wright. He was an anchor, a sports anchor, and he would start off each show by going, hello, everybody. Van Earl Wright was such a nice guy, really, really funny too. I mean, he always got us laughing and he's just a good dude. And that is how he would start off each show, by going, hello, everybody. And so this is just my way to give him a little bit of honor, to honor him and to tribute him because he really was one of those people that just was a nice guy when he didn't have to be a nice guy. So hope that answers someone's question. Let's answer some of the other questions going on out there. Francisco asks, what is yours? And he stops. So that means I get to steal it. My question to myself would be, what talent do you wish you had? Great question. I would say, I wish I had the talent to play the guitar. I wish I took the time out of my life, you know, some days out of my life to learn how to play the guitar or anything of the sort. Maybe the piano, maybe the violin, maybe something like that. But there's something about the guitar that's just kind of cool. Just sitting back, jamming, playing it. I just think that's really neat. So um, it's really something which I never really gave much effort to. In fact, no effort at all. And I wish that I possibly did, but I have no musical talent at all, and that's kind of a shame. That's the one talent I wish I had. Fantastic question that I asked myself. Let's move on. Sophia asks me, what mystery do you wish you knew the answer to? For example, who shot President Kennedy? Well, I am actually one of those that believes that, that, was, that he was shot and killed by Lee Harvey Oz Oswald here in Dallas. And um, I think there's a deeper conspiracy though with it, but I really do think that he was the one that shot him. So I really don't care about that one specifically. I don't care about Atlantis. I don't really care that much about where Jimmy Hoffa is. Um, don't even care if the moon is made of cheese. The one mystery which I have is an easy one. Why is it called W when there is clearly two V's connected making it? Why is it a W? It should be called a double V. If you don't believe this one, look at your keyboard right now. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. That's not a U, that's a V, easy. Other ones which I would love to see solved. Why is it that Mickey Mouse has shorts or pants but no shirt. Yet Donald Duck has a shirt, but no pants. That to me is kind of strange. Why is it that it's called chicken fingers when clearly chickens don't have fingers? Finally, why is it that men grow hair the older they get? They grow hair in really weird places like their ears. Never got that one as well. However, if you want me to go with a more acceptable one, I would love to know who really was D.B. Cooper, the guy that hijacked the plane, jumped out of it, stole all that money, and was never found again. So that would be like my real, real one, but my other ones are valid as well. Fantastic question. That was a great one. And the moon really is made of cheese. Gouda. Uh, Roberto asks me, what is your favorite kind of fruit? Easy, jalapeno. Yes, it is a fruit. Look it up. I couldn't make my jelly without it. Just saying. Other fruits in which I really enjoy? Strawberries. Mixed in to make my spicy jelly. 
Mango, also to mix in to make my spicy jelly. Blueberries, mixing those up to make my spicy je jelly. Peaches, goes great in my spicy jelly. There's a lot of them. Raspberries, go great in my sp spicy jelly. The list really does go on and on. Papaya, that's a fun one to say. Goes fantastic in my papaya jalapeno spicy jelly. Just saying. But it could, none of them could be made possible without the one fruit, jalapeno. Great question. Made me think about my jelly again. Hillary asks me, if you were to live with one person in your family, who would it be? Only one? Um, well, because she might hurt me if I don't say her name. Christy, my wife, for sure. But I'm going to leave her out of this one. I just have to pick the kids. Violet. 1,000% Violet. Violet can stay. The boys have to go. And I've told them that as well. I'm pretty mean, huh? But I'm honest. Violet. Daniel asks me, in English, I only got one right and I got the rest wrong for putting capitals. Why does it do that? Well, it's because of the form in which I use. The Google Forms, it's very, very finicky. You have to put it in exactly how it is. When you put the capitals in, it kind of counts it as wrong because on my answer thing, which I have to put it in, I did not put the capitals part in there. However, you got them right. It's not a capitalization quiz, so I wouldn't worry about it. You gotta relax, kids. Stop stressing out. It's just schoolwork. There's more important stuff. Like keeping your hands clean. Just saying. Kingston asked me, who is your favorite music mu I musician? Musician. This one is really hard. Um, I could go way, way, way back in the day. I could name names like Johann Sebastian Bach, Ludwig von Beethoven, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Those would be at the top of the list, but somehow I don't think you mean them in some weird way. Um, somewhat more recently, I could absolutely go with Elvis, who was in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He was the king of the thank you, thank you very much. Um, he's in the Country Music Hall of Fame. He's in the Gospel Hall of Fame. I could go with a name like that. I could go with John Lennon from the Beatles. I can go with a lot of them. But the one person who I am going to pick, Weird Al Yankovic. Why? For a bunch of reasons. Top of the list. He made the accordion cool. He really did. Two, he made the polka cool. Three, his stuff, his music is pure genius. It really is. The words that he's able to think of to fill up a song, to satire a song, is awesome. And here is the number one reason why. Because when I hear a song which he is trying to satire, I like Weird Al's more. Seriously. Every time I hear a song which he uh, like kind of pokes fun at, I think of Weird Al first. It is awesome. Fantastic questions as always. Guys, keep finishing your work. I'm going to see you here in a little bit because we're going to have that Zoom session, which is going to be awesome. And keep those hands clean. Say some prayers. And I will talk to all of you very, very soon. Have a great day. Bye.